Yeah, leaving no one behind is central to the achievement of the 17 global goals. So this means that everyone must be able to access and claim their rights and governments are responsible for respecting these. And in a nutshell, this means that you should, we should be able to reveal and tackle the stigma that has kept the most marginalized from achieving those rights. The research from the Participate Initiative has found that the people who are termed most marginalized are normally experiencing on their day-to-day -day basis a lot of discrimination due to different factors. For example, our partners in India, Praxis, they worked with this group of people labeled denotified and nomadic tribes. And this means that these are organi organizations of people who have been always catalogued in a way that um, the rest of society sees them as criminal. And the problem is that it's al almost 150 million people who are living in very difficult conditions in, in informal settlements or in very far away rural areas, often not registered. So there are multiple uh, layers of exclusion that they face. And this is even deeper for women who are also discriminated within the same group. Well, certainly it's no easy answer to, to tackle these inequalities. We need action from community, local, subnational, national and global levels. And leaders must be open to actually engage with these uh, groups of marginalized citizens to actually listen to them and most importantly act on what they are claiming and value this knowledge. And in our research we have found the value of listening to people's life stories and how these inequalities come up in ways that you don't see in, in statistics. For example, for people living with HIV AIDS in Egypt, they don't access their medication because they feel the stigma of queuing outside a health center. And this is very specific because the health center is actually only for the treatment of HIV AIDS or other sexually transmitted diseases. So they wouldn't want to go and be seen there as society will judge them and probably they could lose their livelihoods or their children's access to education. International donors and other multilaterals can certainly partner with civil society organizations and other grassroots movements to hold governments and other important power holders to account and also recognizing the rights and respecting them. Certainly something that um, requires multiple actors taking action and most importantly putting at, again at the center these uh, perspectives and opinions of those most marginalized.